my guy, uh, king of the game, you know, he be cashing them checks, he just don't be cashing over the Oh, yeah, app. hey, you, you go, know what I'm saying? You go on Twitter, <laughs> you go on Instagram, <laughs> you go see a hashtag Chili Bowl. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to watch Hamilton and South Point go at it. And I haven't seen either of these teams yet this season. But, man, this Hamilton team is loaded, loaded. All these kids from Colorado, obviously, that everybody's all talking about. My man Stovall, Schmidt, Nico Marquial. I don't think that he's going to be playing tonight. And, uh, of course, uh, Jack Howe, a super talented uh, defensive back. But, man, they got all these Arizona boys, too. Don't forget my guy Cole Martin, uh, 2023 Freshman of the Year, according to myself. Since I'm the only one that really evaluates freshmen anyways, right? Um... Also got to show some love to uh, my man Mo Sarnowski, always getting it done. Um, super talented uh, defensive player. And don't forget, my guy Zach Lewis. Been watching him for a few years now, uh, handle this business. Hey, it's going to be exciting tonight. Uh, Michael Masunas, want to see him uh, get loose. And then on the flip side, you know, got to show some love to South Point. My guy Trayson Borgay, the uh, super talented 2022 quarterback, making things happen. And uh, this kid from California, Elijah Barclay, my guy can move. Um, an absolute burner. I got to put this mask on. I'm going to go in the stadium. Uh, shout out to my uh, freshman over there at South Point. Luis Cordova and Elijah Rushing. Um, I'm super excited. I cannot wait for this game. A spot in the Open Division Championship uh, on the line tonight. And don't forget, uh, make sure you guys drop some comments, hit that like button, and uh, let me know who I got to go check out. Right. Hey, don't play around. I know Cole's your guy. Not tonight, though. Not tonight. With the, the medium drink and the medium fries. Hey. My guy Cole Martin giving uh, Hamilton that good field position early. Man, this could be trouble. Hey, Rodney Clemente going ahead and getting that early work for Hamilton. Hey, we got to see South Point answer back. Trayson Borgay, you up next. Hey, that pocket getting hot. I know. Cole Martin getting loose early. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be allowed to keep that one. Stripe said it's all good, so that is a touchdown. Cell phone looks like they're trying to get my guy David Cordero going early. Uh, my man Tracy Borgay just got sacked uh, pretty close to his goal line. Uh, it could be safety season. Uh, let's see what happens over here. All point due to get back in this game. No, it's just like mental air or so right now. You know, it's gotta wrap up, tackle. It's just too many mental errors right now. Jason Borgay finds Julian Robles deep and uh, South Point, we on the move. <laughs> David Cordero finding his way into the end zone, uh, putting six on the board for his boys. That board. Hey, South Point fully turning up on defense right now. They're trying to get back in this game. Take too many of those. My talented freshman Elijah Russian going ahead and uh, gonna have a block party over here at Loper Field. Hey, 
South Point defense coming alive. Holds Hamilton on fourth down with that big sack. South Point trying to figure out this uh, Hamilton uh, front seven uh, who keeps uh, getting into that backfield. I can't go back in. I need to act. I'm bleeding. There you go, Davion. Hey, South Point defense hot this quarter. Hey, that's an interception and in scoring position. takes the top off, finds his receiver in the end zone. Hey, I warned y'all, I warned y'all. My man got some speed out there. Don't let it happen to you. That's what we're talking about. Let's go around. Come on, best DB in the nation. Let's go, Hamilton runs it in the end zone again for the uh, probably the last time this half, but they finally get on the board in the second quarter. It was 23 to nothing early, but arguably South Point won that second quarter. Yep, and the quarterback is legit, no doubt. And, uh, 100%. Uh, and their defense stepped up, and you know they're 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 going they're not just going to go okay here it is we, they're going to play they're going to finish the game. This is facts, but I do think Hamilton has too much on the line with this uh, date with Chandler next week. They don't want to cancel that. No, no, it's you know hey it's it's good stuff when. You know, when's the last time you got two schools separated by five miles that are ranked in the top 25 in the country? You know, so it's it's kind of cool. It's good for Chandler. We got that week eight. What are your thoughts? Is it possible for South Point to come back or is it too much for them to overcome? No, I definitely think it is possible that they can, but uh, it all depends on how they continue to stop Hamilton's running game because they were successful in the beginning of the second quarter, but then Hamilton got the running game going again. So shut down the running game and they can do it. I'm super impressed by Trayson Borgay. He has bullets flying at him and he is cool, calm, and collected. So super impressed all around the South Point tonight with how they came back from the first to the second quarter. Oh God, that's a norm. South Point sputters out of the gates to start this second half, and uh, we're going to see what Hamilton's working with on offense. <laughs> Tux Tanks paved the way, and Noah Schmidt uh, with the payoff touchdown. He did all the work. Might as well get the touchdown for it, right? Look at Zach Lewis out here living his best life with the pick six. Hamilton is officially running away with this. What's up, man? Hey. Doing good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cold hey, that one. I, I, I didn't announce that I was coming out here, just so you know. Oh, you snuck up on me. <laughs> hey, my guy Chris Trojan, I think too many people sleeping on him. One of my favorite nickelbacks in the state right now. Mo Sarnowski, not quite the pick six, but it was a pick, and he almost got six. Chalowski. Well, Hamilton officially got that 50 spot. Chalowski finds Christian Anaya in the end zone. Can't say that I'm too surprised because uh, there's been a breakdown in the defense. Let's go. Oh, 
I'm just saying that's me. Three by one, one. Three by one, one. The clock officially gonna get some cardio in what has been the longest third quarter ever. Huskies are dominating South Point Catholic. It's gonna be a running clock any minute now and overall chilly, yeah. Huskies are getting it done. Like that, you ain't have to do them like that. I don't know, bro. I'm just trying to get my pancakes up, you know? More pancakes to get, more I get to eat. Hey, grab that syrup. Grab that syrup. Yes, sir, you know it. New quarterback, run! <laughs> South Point's made a change at quarterback and uh, Hamilton has changed nothing. Exactly. You, you happen to get to him in there, or whatever. Hey, what's up, Chili? How you hey, doing, man? I'm good, but you know, how's South Point doing? Because they're not as good as we are right now. They're not. And it looks like uh, South Point defense came up big oh, with a fumble. Like Offense is going to come back on the field. Let's see what Dylan Drace has. Oh! It looks like we are uh, victory formation formalities before we end this game. No way. 34-35. Let's go! Yeah. Hey, we got bigger things coming, right? You know what it is. Come on now, state hey. championship. Hey, you jumped all over them real early. You hit them with that punt return. Yes, sir, yes, sir. There's some things that people haven't seen that you're out there doing. What's it been like your sophomore year? Sophomore year's been crazy. I mean, it's been a blessing. You know, from the off season, from working hard with the team. You know, with uh, COVID going around, it was hard. You know, stay with the team and stuff like that. But hey, we 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 fought through adversity and we're at the state championship next week. Hey man, this is what you guys wanted though. You guys actually dog. wanted Chandler, yes, right? Yes sir. We you guys wanted, wanted this rematch. We wanted this rematch. Two weeks ago, I want to say yeah, two weeks ago against Chandler. Two weeks. Yeah, I mean, we didn't play to our top potential. We felt like uh, you know we should be the kings of AZ Avenue. So you know we won it back and then we're on a bigger stage this time. So it means a whole lot more. All right, hey. See you next week. Yes, sir. Desert Vista. Yes, sir. My man ready. Yes, Prime time. Let's go. It looked bad, but now you guys get Zach Lewis back for sure next week. What are some of the biggest differences going to be? I think we made enough mistakes in the first game that uh, we're going to be able to fix a lot of those. We had to play some younger kids that, you know, you throw them into the fire against a team like that. It's, it's a real tough ask of those young kids. So now I think we've got a little bit more experience back and we should be healthy. Now you guys just had this big blowout versus South Point. They played this tight game, uh, this thriller versus uh, Liberty. Does one way, uh, you know, prepare you better for a championship game? This is a completely different week. It's a completely different opponent. It's a completely different week. So at the end of the day, you're only as good as your last game, right? Now it's another, week, another week of preparation, another week of study and film and they let the chips fall where they made. Uh, this big rivalry, you guys got a little taste of it once already. Yeah, yeah. What's gonna be different this time around? Uh, hopefully we just come out and uh, we can just play a full four quarters. Um, I think we have the guys to do it. What's it like having Clemente to bounce off of now? You know, you don't have to do all the work by yourself. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's so nice. I mean, here we're just pounding, and pounding, and pounding, and with Nico's absence, it's really showed how what we can do, so. Hey, these Colorado boys, you're trying to run Arizona Avenue, right? <laughs> now that you've learned about it, right? That's right, that's right. Man, I wouldn't be denied. That pick six was nasty. Come what? on, man. Hey, I saw you fighting to just stay in bounds. You was like, nah, you ain't gonna get me out nah. of bounds. Hey, I ain't touched the ball the whole first half, so I gotta make up somehow. Is it different not getting all those reps on offense and not get, not seeing the ball and being an option? Yeah, it's, it's hard, but you know, you gotta keep my team up, keep them going. They scoring, we all scoring. Hey, I saw you just take that ball away from them. He was like, nah, this one's mine. I'm taking this one straight to the crib. Crib calls, ring, ring. Z3, hit hey, my one of the top nickelbacks out there handling that business. Just trying to help my team as best we can and uh, get us in the best positions possible to win games on the defense side of the ball. So. I mean, this is what you guys wanted was this rematch, right? Yes, sir. Waited four years for this. Four years, okay. To get, to get Chandler in a championship and put them on their backs? Yes, sir. All right, man. Hey, you, hey, you got to see a lot of friends next week. You know? Yes, sir. Hey, but this is what you want. This is why you came here. This is to, exactly why I came here. Revenge. To, to prove, I want it. To prove that you could be one of the best backs in the state on one of the best teams, and here we are. Yes, sir. What's it been like? What's the experience been like? The whole four weeks I had to sit 
uh, I was just continuing to cheer on my teammates and just hope for the best. You know, they came, they handled those four games, and then when I finally got to play, I just uh, had to turn it on. All right, but now you get to see some of your old best friends, yes, uh, the Brandon Buckners, the Zion Magley. Yes, what's Shout that going to be Zion. like? Hey, what's that going to be like for you, man, having to see uh, some of your old uh, locker room mates? I mean, it's going to be fun. They start to talk a little bit, but I like to talk back, so it's cool. Uh, you know, just I want them to be ready for the L we about to give them. Oh, I'm oh. curious what the gridiron opinion is. Does a blowout prepare you more, or does playing a close game prepare you more? Chandler played a really tight game two years ago against Highland, of course, uh, and then they went and blew out Perry in the state championship that year. So, so the playing the close game, you know, they understood. They go, okay, we we need to focus, and, and they went, and it was a different matchup, of course, against Perry than it was against Highland. And it'll be the same way next week. It'll be a different matchup against Hamilton than it was against Liberty. Now, the interesting thing is that they'd played Liberty before and Liberty was able to make those adjustments for the second time around against Chandler. We'll see if Hamilton can make those adjustments the second time around. And I'll say it right now, I think if Nico plays and he's 100% healthy and he practiced earlier this week, didn't play tonight, I think Hamilton can beat Chandler.